Hey Fab fans, it's Graham Coleman with Daily Extra. We have a great interview with Davey Wavy coming up, but before we show you that, we want to let you know that there's lots more videos like this on Daily Extra's YouTube channel. So just click the box right here and subscribe for all your LGBT news. So have you ever heard anyone say that something's too gay? I have, especially when I wear my Uggs. So how can something even be too gay? If you are what you are, how can you possibly be too much of what you are? I've written several comments on your pages. Um, for example, I asked you out for dinner in Toronto, but I didn't get a reply. So I'm wondering if you um, if you got that message. Yeah, yeah, I did. So that's awkward. <laughs> okay, so I want to share my favorite place in the entire world with you. It's in Hawaii, so we're in California right now. We have to hop on a plane. Let's go. Tell us where you were born. So I was born in, this is awkward, huh? Do you want me to hold this? Because sure, it's yeah. going to get heavy for you. Um, I was born in Rhode Island. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in Rhode Island. I'm yeah. glad my breath does, does it smell? No, you're fine. Okay, let me know if it does. I was born in Rhode Island and uh, I, I've moved around since college. I, th I think I've moved 52 times since graduating. Seriously? Yeah, oh. including several times to Toronto. Great. And what's the... Um, it's not really that interesting, is it? I'm sorry. Tell us also about your love life as much as you want to reveal. For those that are interested. Single? Are you interested? I'm uh, just asking for... for know, on behalf people. of the... Yeah, yeah. Uh, for are the you people. single or... What's happening in your love life? I'm a little bit of a free spirit, uh, but uh, there is, you know, a special someone in my life. A lot of times people in LA, like, view you in terms of what your resources are for them. And if someone's, like, try... Like, I, I've dated guys that are like, can you tag me in a selfie? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no. yeah. And like, we'll get mad if I don't. So, what? yeah, so for me, it's like, I'm just gonna keep my like YouTube internet world completely separate. Uh, and so if someone's dating me because they want to be tagged in selfies, they're not gonna get that and they'll move on. Yeah. Um, and if they're dating me for me, then well, they'll get that. And Okay, so I want you to close your eyes for a second. Go ahead, close them. And I won't scare you. I want you to imagine a world in which gay men were not so obsessive about their body hair. What would we do with all that free time? Did it rip my skin? Did it rip my skin? Oh, oh. <laughs> YouTube is, it's a very unique form of celebrity. It's not like a real celebrity where like you see them on TV and the movies. With YouTube, you interact with them and you leave comments and you tweet them and you get messages back and forth. It's very intimate. It's very uh, unique, I think. So the reactions and the comments that are on the YouTube channel, mm -hmm. do you get um, marriage proposals, things like that? There's a lot of people that follow my channel because they love what I'm doing and they get it. And there's people that just like to do a negative commentary on it. And I think like having a YouTube channel is really good practice in not just like not caring what other people say about you, but realizing that when they say these nasty things uh, about you, it's really like an assessment on themselves. If, if you want to do something different, then create your own channel. If someone is your friend, then that relationship is built on mutual understanding and respect and empathy and not treating someone like shit. So it's, it's, it's a good practice in like, not giving a fuck. <laughs> As a full-blown homosexual, I have to say that I think being gay is pretty freaking amazing. You've given me the best job in the world. This I'm is me saying thank you. I will continue to give you the only thing that I have to give, which is, I guess I'll continue to talk about I talk about penis all day. So big that when his parents circumcised him, they had to get a building permit. There's size queens and liars. My dick's so big, there's snow on it in the summertime. Yeah, it doesn't get better than that. <laughs> Follow your dreams, kids. <laughs> <laughs> you do talk about dick, and you'll talk about a lot of different kinds of sex, and yeah. some really taboo subjects, and you make light of them. But then you'll also sometimes address like more serious stuff, like bullying, like this recent video you did with the Mormon teen. As sad as it is, we've all heard the story of the young gay kid that comes out to his family and then gets disowned or kicked out of his house, but that's not what this story is. This is something very different. How do you balance the serious with the sex? You know, it's like I, I try to have I try to have a good message at the core of my videos, but you need to have something to let the poison go down. So it's kind of taking that good message and packaging it in something that's funny or sexual or silly um, because no one wants to be like preached at. You can go to church and do that. You know, that's not how I want to try to get you know a message across.
Thank you.